Seven years ago, James found himself homeless after his father had to move to a retirement home and he could no longer afford the rent alone. He struggled to find a place to live and was scammed out of what little money he had. James says he was shocked when he couldn't find a homeless shelter that would allow him to bring his beloved pet, Makwa, along. Dogs are family. That's my kid. That's my son. Okay? Your, your kids may not have fur, mine does. It doesn't mean I love them any less. Yeah. There's at least 45% of the homeless population in Canada has either a dog or a cat. Companionship. Uh, having that type of companionship not only gives you safety, especially if you got a big dog, it gives you protection, but that is the number one preventative measure of suicide amongst the homeless. That prompted a multi-year 7,400 kilometer odyssey to British Columbia and back. Early on, the pair became accidental advocates. Muck, Muck and I are doing a fundraiser in front of Foodland and Vineland, and this guy comes up and he asks you my story, right? Then he asks if he could take my picture, and he said he works for this small newspaper, and asked if he could put the story in his small newspaper, right? Uh, he had he uh, worked uh, for the Hamilton Spectator. That's not a small newspaper. <laughs> no, we ended up on page three of the Hamilton, the entire page three of the Hamilton Spectator. That planted the seed for raising awareness and funds. Since then, Makwa sadly passed away and James now travels with Muck. He's written a series of books called Walking to the Rockies with Makwa, which are available on Amazon. There are six editions, one for each year of his journey. He says 90% of the proceeds are going in trust to one day open shelters for the homeless and their pets in honor of Makwa.